How's it going everyone? James Martinez here. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm an author, artist, poet, photographer, filmmaker, and minister. And I've been blessed by God in extraordinary ways. I've walked with Him. I'm talking of the Creator of the heavens and the earth, the beginning and the end of all things, Jesus as Father, our Father God in heaven. I'm blessed to have been given one of the greatest views of life. Father God revealed Himself. He lifted me up and out of this world in the flesh. He and Jesus showed me how life began and how we became who we are today. Then they brought me back and put me in motion. We've been striving together ever since. We're creating this channel to inspire us all to an even greater life. We'll be delivering shorts designed to educate and direct as well as lessons and explanations of our frequent walks and transcendent journeys together. If you like what you see, be sure and share our videos so others can be inspired also. God bless you and thanks for subscribing. So Father God and Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit have given me this really amazing gift and with it comes you know a few really great uh, blessings one of them is the authority to speak on things that are very important and you're coming from a place of certainty in absolution um, you know in, in fallibility if you will uh, and, and speaking on them in a righteous way now before anybody gets upset at me talking about this particular lesson you know please understand this is coming from God and this is coming from a faithful place there's no pride there's no ego there's no self involved when it comes to talking about something like this now having the authority to speak on God's behalf is a blessing and something that should be taken very serious and when I deliver a message with him for him through him there's a reason for it. it's not just me talking so that I can get attention or approval or acceptance. There is specific reasoning behind it. I'm here enjoying this amazing day. God is such an amazing person to bless us with life. Really got to give it up. I'm making this video for my new vlog. This is the first episode and we are getting ready to create uh, a monthly vlog to talk about some of the experiences I've been part of, but to also share some of the lessons and reveal some of the insights, talk about the blessings, the gifts, the walks, all the things that God's allowed for. Uh, I know many people struggle with their faith or with their understanding or even with their belief. and. I'm hoping to, to help that, to help people you know, get to a better place so that they can find the sort of blessings that I've, I've been given. You know, God is just really an incredible person. If you know him, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, hopefully you'll get an opportunity to, uh, to get as close to him as I have. Uh, we've literally learned how to do everything together in unity. Uh, it reminds me of what Jesus came here to teach us, that it's possible to be in God and have God in you and do all these things as one and have a wonderful life. The world struggles with that understanding. It's, it, it troubles with that because it wants to do what it wants to do, how it wants to do it, when it wants to do it. That whole selfish perspective that the people struggle with is what causes them to you know, have difficulty grasping something as phenomenal as what I'm sharing with y'all. You know, the books that we're writing and the lessons that have come through over the years have all happened because of, you know, my faith and my belief in God. So I'm hoping that you, if you're watching this channel, you're being inspired in that same way, that you're realizing where all these gifts are coming from and that you're cultivating your relationship too. God bless you. God's first lesson was pretty tough to wrap my head around. He told me that all things were possible with him. He asked me to write it down and make it the first line of our book. And then he set out to show me firsthand. I thought I should start with this perspective because it's what allowed for all the things that I'm part of with him. He's taught me so much over the years. And if you're anything like how I used to be, you might have trouble understanding we're capable of everything. Coming back to him, he taught me how to stand up right again. He taught me how to let go of the world and how to live in unity. Our relationship has literally changed human history. As in we just rewrote the past and created a new world. Our lessons are meant to bridge the gap of spiritual misunderstandings. Remind us that with faith, all things really are possible. I didn't used to have uh, the type of ability that I have now. In fact, 
all of my artistic endeavors and everything that I have become part of happened after God blessed me. And when I mean I've been touched by the hand of God, I mean literally God touched my hand like this a couple of different times. And when God touches you, you change. Uh, for me, after he touched me, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I had the ability to start creating in a way that I've never created before. Uh, I became an author, I became a writer, I became a poet, I became a photographer and striving for films now, creating manuscripts and writing screenplays. Uh, we're starting this new vlog, that's part of what this is about, but we're also revealing God's word and the messages and the lessons and the insights and the perspectives that have all come from these experiences with him. When I'm, when I'm talking about God, I'm talking about him, I'm talking about the Holy Trinity, Father God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. So. If you're familiar with the Bible, maybe you are, maybe you aren't, but in the Bible it talks about the different talents that are given to people. And there's a couple of examples in there, but one in particular that stands out is the lesson of the master who gave his servant talents. It happened a couple of different ways and to a couple of different of his servants. And when you're given these talents, you're, uh, you have this opportunity to go out there and create these wonderful experiences and you know, partake in these incredible, uh, you know, lessons and, and, and hopefully blessing others in the process. But when you don't and you simply try to safeguard that talent, um, basically it's kind of like you're throwing your talent away. If you're trying to you know, hold on to it just for yourself or keep it safe so that nothing happens to it. Um, on the other side of that, when you take your talent and you turn around and you go out and you invest it and you do that in people and you do that in the gifts that you are creating, be able to go out there and, and, and bless all the kinds of people and you get blessed in the process and that that's part of what we're doing right now also you know I give testimony to that from the books that we're writing to the messages we're delivering to our walk you know everything that coincides with the experiences that God's putting me through are here so that people will be blessed uh, if you've known me for the last few years ever since this has happened we've blessed as many people as we can uh, everybody who comes in contact with us, not just from perspective and insight and, you know, hopefully uplifting encouragement and comfort and hope and, and, and all that, but from our services as well. You know, we've given away you know, everything that we could um, from photography to videography to, uh, you know, giving away books so that people can be a part of the story to, you know, encouraging people to, you know, pick up the Bible and read the word, everything and anything that we could think of to help not only hone our skill and, and hone our craft, but to be of service and extend our talent. So the real question is, what are you doing with yours and how are you making the world a better place? You know, I tell people often jokingly, but seriously at the same time that I, I wouldn't have picked somebody like me. You know, I realized how broken I was, how far removed from understanding I was, you know, how, how wrong I was in so many things. I realized back then what was going on, but I knew that I had to get through whatever it is that I was being put through for a very specific reason. So it took a couple of months for the gift, the enormity of the gift to, to register with me. But when it finally set in, we'd changed history. It started to, to register with me the future you know, the things that we'd be accomplishing and the impact we'd have on the world and you know, all the things that would come along with the gift. Uh, of course, there are sacrifices and some difficult circumstances to have to go through sometimes, but anything worth doing is never easy. But here we are, several years after, and the world is starting to comprehend now what's just happened. You know, God's left clues and signs. And these are all parts of the miracles and the wonders and the gifts that along with his blessing it's something so profound that it is literally going to open up the eyes of all of humanity and it's going to affect every single person from here till so I love to get out to nature and take hikes and go walking and you know, explore and really get back in in union with the creation I think the hustle and bustle of the city is just so overwhelming sometimes uh, if you're if you're as sensitive to energy as I am you feel everything all the time so when we get back out to nature it's just a, a really great grounding experience to feel the water flow or the trees sway or the wind blow it's it's amazing that's one of the, the reasons I get out here
the obstacles that we all face is is dealing with the flesh or experiencing the flesh or having to go through experiences because of our flesh you know if you do uh, rather if, if you do know uh, the fall of man uh, it's a long story uh, some people have lost sight of you know God's word so it, I'm just rehashing this for those who don't follow the word or don't know the word or have never opened the Bible or don't know it but basically there was a fall of man and it happened with Adam he basically broke God's command and after the fall of man we had to be redeemed through salvation through Christ through Jesus and so many people struggle with just that simple perspective but until we're really mindful and accepting and understanding of what it means to sin against God and then being redeemed from it it's kind of hard for people who are stuck in themselves stuck in the flesh to grasp the simple thing but all the struggles of the world that we have the temptations the desires the overwhelming uh, feelings that we have to be accepted by the world or to do things in a worldly way when all that part of, of life overcomes us and we fall into temptation we fall into ourselves and we give into that sort of stuff we basically start sowing to our sin nature so when that happens we basically go against God and we bring to life the kinds of things that we don't want whether you know purposefully or inadvertently or you know accidentally if you want to call that word accidental uh, a word but the truth is is that we all go through these experiences and you know we when we face you know who we are and and we're finally brought to a place of not only being convicted of our sin but understanding why we go through those types of things but ultimately that there is a way to get past all that when we finally get to that part then we're also charged with learning how to stand upright and how to walk and how to um, not only deny the flesh but how to live for for God in a spiritual way so then again another reason to understand what the word is about what God is really asking us to do I know so many people struggle with religion and so many spiritual people that I know struggle with religion and so many religious people I know struggle with the spirituality part of it so many um, scientific people um, struggle with with all of the understanding you know they only see what they see in the flesh in the material world and can't make sense of this or that because they're only trying to look at it from you know one perspective so God asked me to help bring the world to a greater understanding since we're in a new world now he's asked me to help deliver these understandings to help bring people to a greater way so that not only will you have knowing and discernment and understanding but you'll also be able to apply it into your life and move in a particular way that is pleasing to him but also beneficial for your life you know since this is my first vlog I wanted to talk a little about you know my hometown um, from Austin uh, born and raised here I, I think originally people ask me where are you from and I say heaven but you know Austin's been my hometown since I've been here and I've been blessed to have traveled all around the world you know with God and you know uh, a couple of other times you know various trips but there's no place like home uh, you know wherever that might be for everybody but you know, this happens to be my hometown and you know I've watched it grow up over the years it's just absolutely amazing for the story to be you know coming to the world from from here some of the hardest parts of our story to to, to fathom or to believe or you know, just how extraordinary God's blessings really are I think you know people want to be blessed or they hope to be blessed or you know they recognize their blessings but I don't think anybody's really had a blessing quite like this before it's so extraordinary that I'm part of it and it blows my mind you know for those of you who don't know me I used to uh, I used to date a lot. I used to be a uh, womanizer. I used to be into you know, relationships uh, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, all the time. And when I uh, when 
I got back to God, he 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 really humbled me in that that respect. He uh, he told me that I had been living my life between my legs for a very long time. So he asked me to become celibate and abstinent, and at that point, I I literally put relationships to the side. And it's been you know six years, over six years now since I've been in relationships. But you know to get that personal about the sort of things that has happened since God, they're they're pretty extreme. So I thought it was fitting to conclude the first vlog sitting on the steps of a church since we are addressing the church. You know, the message is coming from God. These experiences that I'm a part of, they all come from Him. I tell everyone I follow after Jesus, profess He's the Lord. Father God has given me His blessing. This is His anointing. I'm just thankful to be a part of all of the things that we're doing. So I testify to them every day. I lift them up every day. If you're getting anything from this, I hope that you remember where it's coming from. God's blessing the world. And I hope He's blessing you right now. God bless you. So when I found him, I said, God, you found me. And God said, no, you found me.